one more race we've watched a lot. This was a race Democrats, if you talked to them a couple of months ago, they thought here was their opportunity to slay a giant. Allison Grimes is the Democrat running against the Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell in Kentucky. Uh, he hopes to be the majority leader next year. Republicans need a net gain of six seats, but he's in a lot of trouble if you look at his poll numbers. But she has made a couple of tactical mistakes in her campaign lately. Here's an outside group with a new ad questioning Allison Grimes, saying, hey, what do you stand for? What do we know about Allison Grimes? The Bowling Green Daily News says she waffles on the issues, hides from voters. The Herald Leader reports Grimes is nearly impossible to pin down, dodging the tough questions. Grimes awkwardly refused to say this week whether she so would... This race, Margaret, if you looked at this a couple months ago, this was the one the Democrats thought, you know, Republicans knocked off the Senate leader Tom Daschle a few years ago. Yeah. We're going to get Mitch McConnell. Are they as confident now as this campaign, campaign plays out? I think it's really tough to beat Mitch McConnell, and it has always been really tough to beat Mitch McConnell. And I think, to me, what you're seeing is, yeah, why not? Why not go for it? The Democrats are trying to build a bench in places like Kentucky and places like Texas of, of women who... Uh, take on, you know, a sort of near impossible feat and see how far they can get. And, and I still think that's what this is part of when you see Elizabeth Warren come into Kentucky to uh, to raise awareness well, and money for well, somebody. You've spent a lot of time on this race. I said early on that she had a chance, but she had to be near perfect. Yeah. Uh, she hasn't been near perfect. She has been near perfect, and this has been the knock on her since the beginning, that she's not ready for prime time. The NRSC, speaking of them, unfortunately called her in the beginning of the race an empty dress, which is an unfortunate turn of phrase coming from a man. Uh, but if you talk to Democrats there, they do think she's gotten better. Yes, she's been too cautious with the media, cautious on policy, afraid to take stands on certain things, Obama, running away from Obama on coal, uh, for example. But she has gotten better. I talked to one donor over the weekend down there who's expecting her to post a really strong fundraising quarter, maybe over $4 million, which would be a really good number for her. But almost $8 million nice. of outside spending right. in the race, two-thirds of that has gone uh, attacking her and supporting right. McConnell. That's the one Republican seat. They say Georgia sometimes too, but the Democrats look at the map. It is not trending in their favor at the moment. We'll see how it goes mm -hmm. from here.